I was driving down the street, saw a prostitute, asked her how much. She said, $300, I'll do anything you want. I said, bitch, paint my house. <laughs> No one cares about missing men. Never thought about it's it. It's like when a man's missing, nobody cares. A kid's missing, Amber Alert. Men, it's like, Bob didn't come home last night. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's very disturbing. I, I never thought of it that way. I hope his ass never shows up. <laughs> Only women, children, and dogs are loved unconditionally. A man is only loved under the condition that he provides something, okay? I, I once heard my grandmother say, a broke man is like a broke hand. Can't do nothing with it. What kind of gangster shit is that? That's right. Women, children, and dogs are loved unconditionally. When you meet a new girl, what do your friends ask you? What she look like? Lady, when you meet a new guy, what do your friends ask you? What does he do? What the fuck does that nigga do that can help you out? I got a question. If Grace Jones isn't the ugliest woman in the world, then who is? <laughs> to me, Grace Jones looks like a human chimney cleaner. Just dip her in there and pull her out. <laughs> Grace Jones so ugly, they make her wear makeup on the radio. <laughs> I saw Tammy Baker the other day. Doesn't Tammy look like a model for Crayola? <laughs> Jada got mad. Jada says she's not coming. Protesting. I'm like, is, is she on a TV show? Jada's gonna boycott the Oscars. Jada boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. I wasn't invited. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. The, Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Are you, I hosted Saturday Night Live with Megan Thee Stallion. Mm -hmm. I said, when you get to your old nigga phase, give me a call. You know, she got to fuck her rappers and whatever right oh. now. Get her point guards in uh, there, you know? Hey. But at some point. You're having fun now. <laughs> at you some go, point, you, you gonna wanna... need somebody to take care of that debt. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where I come in. Because in the book, <laughs> that when she becomes a, a vampire, she then becomes sort of like even more beautiful. Yes. That's what happens when you die. <laughs> yeah. Every time I go to a woman's funeral, I want to have sex with the car. <laughs> <laughs> it's the makeup. <laughs> what do you know about men that a less attractive woman wouldn't know about men? Because you, cause you get them all coming on, dude. Oh, all yeah. the no. time. How do you just answer that? I don't know. What do you know? What do you, well, how do you, what do you know about less attractive? Uh, I, know, what do you, I, know, yeah. I know a lot of shit. <laughs> I know nobody talked to me when I was broke. <laughs> and 
And this girl comes up to Eddie and goes, Eddie Murphy, I love you so much. It's a white girl. I've never kissed a black man in my life. Can I please kiss you? Please, just, I just want to be able to say I've kissed a black man. And Eddie goes, okay, okay, let me, let's get this straight. You, you can't start at the top. You got to kiss some of these broke niggas first. <laughs> you know what my favorite Oprah? I remember one time I was watching Oprah, right? I'm going to tell the story. And uh, the show was about secrets. Mm -hmm. And this woman had to tell her husband that she spent $300,000. And they, all his money, the guy worked at UPS. And Oprah's like, do you have something to tell your husband? And she said, I spent $300,000 and we're going to lose the house on Tuesday. And the guy was, started to cry. And by the end of the show, it was all the guy's fault. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> oh man. He he was apologizing for not loving her enough. <laughs> it's the greatest Oprah of all time. <laughs> Wasn't ready, didn't look for something new. I was out with my friends the night that I met you. You look so handsome, told you was someone's boo. That was until you showed me that you wanted me to. Things are going all right. I cannot complain. We're doing my special. We're doing a new movie. We got a new TV show. Successful black man. So you know, you know what's next, right? White girl. <laughs> you have to get a white girl. Cannot be a successful black man without a white girl. They, they won't even let you buy a mansion without a white girl. But here's my million dollars. Where's your white girl? We have zoning restrictions. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? If you're black and you go out with a white girl, everything that goes wrong in your life, people blame it on a white girl. <laughs> everything. It's like, yo, man, I heard Chris got hit by a bus. <laughs> Fuck around with white girl. <laughs> yo, I heard Chris broke his leg. White girl. <laughs> That's what it get. People are bugs, man. It's like, you know, there's... There's white girls that only got with black guys. There's black girls that only got with white guys. I met a black girl like that. Did not date black men. I said, girl, how come you don't date no black men? She said, no reason. No reason. I'm like, no reason. So I punched her in the face. <laughs> now she got a reason. women. My mother's a woman, that helps. <laughs> women got women control the whole thing, man. Women, women control, they're so fucking cool. Women have male friends. Women have male friends, platonic friends. What the fuck is that shit about? That's like the biggest scam in the world. No man ever looked at a woman and said, damn, she fine. Damn, she is so fine. She's so fine, I want to make her my friend. Women are like, they will have platonic, they will have 10 platonic friends and nothing. Can a guy have some women friends? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Women are cool. This is how cool women are. A woman can walk in a party with her man. There'll be four guys in a party that she fucked and it will not phase her one bit. She will introduce her man to every one of those guys like there is nothing to it. <laughs> I want you to be Brad, and this is... In the darkness of the night, I flick 
flicker starts to glow A beacon in the shadows A light that starts to flow Illuminating pathways Where once there was despair In the depths of obscurity Hope begins to flare Like a flame in the wind I ignite from within Casting rays of brilliance Banishing the din With each step I take I brighten up the way In the realm of shadows I become the day I'm the light in the darkness The spark in the night Guiding lost souls Towards the morning light Through the tunnels of uncertainty I'll be the guide For I am the bearer of hope in me Dreams reside In the labyrinth of life Where shadows dance and play I'm the ray of sunshine Turning night into day With every glimmer I cast I unveil the unseen In the tapestry of existence I'm the golden sheen From the darkest corners To the highest peak I'm the radiant glow That even shadows seek With every flicker Every beam I emit I dispel the darkness I never submit I'm the light in the darkness The spark in the night Guiding lost souls towards the morning light Through the tunnels of uncertainty I'll be the guide For I am the bearer of hope in me Dreams reside In the symphony of life I'm the crescendo's rise In the canvas of the universe I paint the skies So let the darkness tremble Let the shadows flee For in the heart of radiance I'll always be I'm the light in the darkness, the spark in the night Guiding lost souls towards the morning light Kevin and this is Mark and this is Michael They're all my friends A man, if you're walking out of Steven Show, woman And you see a bitch you fucked in 